Hello strangers on the internet and welcome to the final of the Undertale series. Can you believe it guys? Only five really long episodes and we're already here. Yeah, that's right. You know, I did some preparation off camera and I got as many food items as I can because we haven't died a single time and I don't want to break that record because we are gods at this game. The elevator is in use. By who? So we have made our way to the capital and we are about to meet the king. Are you guys excited or freaking nervous? Because I was freaking nervous to record this video because I'm like, what if I die? Everybody would be so disappointed in me. Anyway, so let's go forward. Just like that one movie. Why do I make references to that movie in like every single video? Anyways, let's go forward. The music. New home. Oh, I just noticed on the sprite on your character, there's like this little bit on their like mouth. Interesting. The way is blocked by two padlocks. There is a note attached. Howdy, I'm in the garden. If you have anything you need to get off your chest, please don't hesitate to come. The keys are in the kitchen and the hallway. Oh. A long time ago, a human fell into the ruins. Injured by its fall, the human called out for help. Hmm, is it me? You took the key and put it on your phone's keychain. Uh. Azrael, the king's son, heard the human's call. He brought the human back to the castle. So it's not me. Oh, present. There's a heart-shaped locket inside the box. Will you take it? Anyways. Heart shaped locket. Heart locket. Armor. Defense 15. It says best friends forever. Alright. We're going to use this. And we're going to throw this away. Goodbye. There's a worn dagger inside the box. Will you take it? Oh, we're actually going to need this. Which is kind of sad. I won't say why, though. Goodbye, fry pan. Room under renovations. Oh! Over time, Azure and the human became like siblings. The king and queen treated the human child as their own. The underground was full of hope. Aw. Okay. Number one. It's a trophy. Number one nose nuzzle champs 98. Okay, let's go, guys. Oh. Then, one day, the human became very ill. Why? The sick human had only one request, to see the flowers from their village. But there was nothing we could do. Aww. The next day, the next day. Dot dot dot. <laughs> the human died. That's a little dramatic. Azrael, wrecked with grief, absorbed the human's soul. He transformed into a being with incredible power. Mm. 
with the human soul. As you will cross through the barrier, he carried the human's body into the sunset, back to the village of the humans. As you are reached the center of the village, there you found a bed of golden flowers. You carried the human onto it. Mm. What can move? Suddenly, screams rang out. The villagers saw Azrael holding the human's body. They thought that he had killed the child. Oh, the poor child. I'm just a kid <coughs> in the game. The humans attacked him with everything they had. He was stuck, struck with blow after blow. Azrael had the power to destroy them all. But, Azrael did not fight back. Clutching the human, Azrael smiled and walked away. Wounded, Azrael stumbled home. He entered the castle and collapsed. His dust spread across the garden. The kingdom fell into despair. The king and queen had lost two children in one night. The humans had once again taken everything from us. The king decided it was time to end our suffering. Every human who falls down here must die. With enough hu human souls, we can shatter the barrier forever. It's not long now. King Asgore will give us hope, save us all, and will let us go. You should be smiling too. Oh yeah, I should. I'm, I'm, yeah, yep. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're going to be free. Oh my god, I love this game. This game has such a great story. Oh. Last corridor. Oh, I've seen this place a lot. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you will meet the king. Together, you will determine the future of this world. That's then. Now, you will be judged. You will be judged for your every action. You will be judged for every EXP you've earned. What is EXP? It is an acronym. It stands for execution points. A way of quantifying the pain you've inflicted on others. When you kill someone, your EXP increases. When you have enough EXP, your love increases. Love, too, is an acronym. It stands for level of violence. A way of measuring someone's capacity to hurt. The more you kill, the easier it becomes to distance yourself. The more you distance yourself, the less you will hurt. The more easily you can bring yourself to hurt others. But you, you never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. Just that you kept a certain tenderness in your heart. No matter the struggles or hardships you faced, you strive to do the right thing. You refused to hurt anyone. Even when you ran away, you did it with a smile. You never gained love, but you gained love. Does that make sense? Maybe not. Now, 
you're about to face the greatest challenge of your entire journey. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. If you refuse to fight, Asgore will take your soul and destroy humanity. But if you kill Asgore and go home, monsters will remain trapped underground. What will you do? Well, if I were you, I would have thrown in the towel by now. But you didn't get this far by giving up, did you? That is right. You have something called determination. So as long as you hold on, so as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. All right, we're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thank you, Sans. Oh, this is going to be difficult. Oh, it's going to happen, guys. It's about to happen. I can't believe we're here already. The series has only been going on for like a month. But it's just, you know, I I do the, them by areas. That's why the videos are longer. It's because RPGs, you know, <laughs> I just cannot believe it. This is going to be insane. Throne room. Although there is one more thing we should look at. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Gavster. It's empty. They already got the tombstone set out to go, guys. Oh, God. I am not ready for this. I was, like, literally so nervous. It's like, if I die, it's just going to be so upsetting. Throne entrance. You saw how bad I was at... Oh, the, although, when I was fighting Toriel, I wasn't using the controller. I really hope, like, learning how to use this controller... As... Dum de dum. Oh, is someone there? Just a moment. I have almost finished watering these flowers. Here we are. Howdy. How can I? Uh oh. Oh. Ah. Uh. I so badly want to say, would you like a cup of tea? But, you know how it is. Oh, this is like, this is very just awkward. <laughs> nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. <laughs> Perfect weather for a game of catch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we must do? When you are ready, come into the next room. I haven't done this in like three years. I am like... Okay. It's a throne. It's another throne covered by a white sheet. Aw. Oh, this is it! This is it! How tense. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. I hate the dentist. I've always... Oh my god, there's so... I literally got a certificate of bravery. I said this on my first video for being brave at the dentist. <laughs> Weird. A thousand subscribers, guys. I'll show you it. Obviously, I'll have to blur my location and my name. <laughs> but... Oh, my God. Are you ready? If you are not, I understand. I'm not ready either. The end! Ah! 
Oh my god, guys, we've come so far. I, I'm not going to be a funny Minecraft YouTuber for this section of the video, am I? I'm going to try, though. Oh, this is it! Oh my god. The end of the game. This is a barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Oh God, I got a stretch. Ah. Oh my God, ow, it's time. It's time. Oh, there's no going back. Oh, I didn't even have lunch today. I see. This is it, then. Ready? Oh, God. A strange light fills the room. Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determination. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Oh, it's time, so there's no mercy in this fight. Oh, uh, the one problem about this fight is that we actually have to attack. So, um... Oh, I haven't done this the whole game, so... We're gonna have to do that. And also, another secret about this fight... Is that if you eat the butterscotch cinnamon pie and save it... Asgore's defense and attack will drop, like, massively, but... Once we lose a lot of health, we'll have to eat it, because we just don't want to waste it. Okay, let's fight. I haven't fought the entire game, so... Uh... Oh, I'm actually pretty good at fighting. Oh, I've already taken loads of damage. And it's only the start of the fight. Oh, and I completely missed. Oh. Okay. 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 Oh god. I'm gonna die. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> Hi! <laughs> you ate the butterscotch pie. <laughs> Your HP was maxed out. The smell reminded Asgore of something. Asgore's attack down. Asgore's defense down. Oh, right. Oh, that attack is kind of, like, stressful. Okay. Oh. Not even close, buddy. Oh, great. I'm gonna get epilepsy playing this. Oh, great. Okay. Look, 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 look. Don't... This is the freaking attack that always gets me. Never mind. Oh. I was moving. Okay. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I hate this one. Okay. The thing about this fight is that we're going to want to keep our HP high. Because in a single turn, we can die. Oh my god. Okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Nope. Oh. Uh. Okay. I, I'm trying, I'm trying. Okay. 
Okay. HP high, HP high. Why do I feel like I don't have as, as many... Oh, right. I had to throw one away. All right. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. We got this. For our viewers. For our viewers! Okay. How did I survive? Ooh, I'm tense! I haven't felt this tense since I... <laughs> fought a certain boss from a mod. I was so close to not getting it. Ah! Hot dog. Eat the hot dog. Sans. He believes in me. I can do anything. He believes in me. Sans. 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 Come on. We've come so far. As a community. Come on! Oh, right in the center. Oh, we dodged that. Come We're getting good. Come on. Come on. Forget for my viewers. Go, go. No, 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 no! No, 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 no. I hate that one. It gives me... Oh. So, that is, it, is, I remember the day after my son died. The entire underground was devoid of hope. The future had once again been taken from us by the humans. In a fit of anger, I declared war. I said that I would destroy any human that came here. I would use their souls to become godlike and free us from this terrible prison. Then I would destroy humanity and let monsters rule the surface in peace. Soon the people's hopes returned. My wife however, became disgusted with my actions. She left this place, never to be seen again. Truthfully, I do not want power. I do not want to hurt anyone. I just wanted everyone to have hope. But, I cannot take this any longer. I just want to see my wife. I just want to see my child. Please, young one. This war has gone on long enough. You have the power. Take my soul and leave this cursed place. Ah! Well, God. <laughs> this is it. Well. So far, we have done pacifists because we are nice people, but it just, it seems like we came to a part of the game where it's just, we won't be able to go home. What are we going to do? I think I know what's the right thing to do. We are going to show mercy. Because we will never kill another. After everything I've done to hurt you, you would rather stay down here and suffer than live happily on the surface? Human, I promise you, for as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. We can sit in the living room, telling stories, eating butterscotch pie, 
We could be like... Like a family. Ah, uh, what? Oh... You idiot. You haven't learned a thing. In this world, it is killed or be killed. Oh. Well, nice job, Gavster. Oh. Oh, the game. The game just closed itself. Oh, my God. I can see my recording software. Oh, the game... Okay, okay, give me a moment. What, what does Flowey think? Okay, okay. Well, guys, um, I think Flowey... I think Flowey might have broke my PC because the moment I loaded up the game again, my entire PC overheated. I think it's working now, so, uh, Flowey, uh... Please, please, please... Please don't overheat my PC again. <laughs> uh, Flowey? Ah! Uh. uh. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the flower. I owe you a huge thanks. You really did a number on that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now with your help, he's dead. And I've got the human souls. Uh... Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Mmm, I can see... No, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... That's just weird. People are gonna clip that line. Aw, oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more before I become God. <laughs> uh, and then, with my newfound powers, monsters, humans, everyone, I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Uh... Oh, and forget about escaping to your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry. Your old friend, Flowey, has worked out a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death. So you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces over and over and over. What? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Yeah, I am an idiot. Because I'm a Minecraft YouTuber. You've never fought a mine. Actually, you have, but you've never fought Gavstar. I'm going to lose my perfect record of dying in this, aren't I? Uh, guys, I'm scared. I am scared. Uh. Hi. Uh, <laughs> this fight gives me freaking epilepsy, man. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, ah! 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 Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I freaking have them. Oh, 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 not even close, man. Okay. Oh. Oh my God. No, no, no. Help, help, help! Please, please, please. <gasps> yes, 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 yes. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. There's still a chance. Okay, let's go. No! 
What is this attack? Hi guys. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, hello. <laughs> Ah! Okay. Okay, guys. Okay. okay. Alright, alright. You see, you see, everything's absolutely fine. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. No, no, no. It's, it's just call, 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 call. Still a chance. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. Oh. What? How's that fair? Stop. Stop files. Stop doing the filing thing, Flowey. Come on. 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 We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. Please! Please! Oh! Jeez. <laughs> okay. Oh. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Come on! Oh. This is gonna be hard, isn't it? It's gonna be hard. I'm trying... I'm, uh, I'm trying my hardest, guys. No! How am I surviving? No! Stop! How am I surviving? I am so good! Oh my god, oh my... See, guys, I got this. I got this. <laughs> No, no, no. I got distracted. Stop. Yes, yes, yes. Pancakes, pancakes, pancakes. I hate this one. 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 No, no, no. Ah! Please, please. All right, this might be the final one, guys. No, no, no. Please. Please. God! Is this it? Guys? Oh, 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 yes! Flowers, band-aids, fingers, pancakes! <laughs> Let's do this! Are, are, oh, wait, are those eggs? Actually, I don't know. I am actually kind of good at this game. I take it back, I'm not bad. Oh, never mind. Now I'm failing. Stop getting hit. Stop dying. Ah! Oh. 
No. Stalls, get me more stuff! It's getting too insane! Stop! Please. Come on, come on, come on. Stop the finger guns! <laughs> like, cut it! <laughs> I can't even focus on its health bar! <laughs> come on. Oh! There's too many. There's too many. Please. Come on. We're so close. Ah! Uh, no! This is the one I ate! No, 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 no. Yes! This is happening. This is happening, Flowey. You idiot. Oh. Oh, my perfect record. No, I didn't die a single time the entire... Oh, there's what was my... My perfect record, my perfect record. Hee hee hee. Did you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you, you are hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golly, that's right. You're worth his friends. Can't save you now. Call for help, I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. Called for help. But nobody came. Boy, what a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Oh, come on, man. I ha I literally didn't die a single time the- What? How'd you? Well, I'll just- What? Where are my powers? <gasps> the souls? What are they doing? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Yes. Yes. Oh, that's right. I didn't die a single time. I'm not counting those times where the file loaded and saved and killed me. Well, Flowey. Oh, well, you know, I've, I've said it, I, I've said it once. We will never kill a person. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? No. Nope. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. If you let me live, I'll come back. Uh, are, are we sure we want to do this? I'll kill you. Of course, as usual. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? I didn't, can't understand. I can't understand. I just can't understand. While we ran away.
Oh, somebody's calling us. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just calling to say, you made a snowman really happy. Ah, yeah, that's right. We did that. We carried the snowman piece all the, through our adventure. Oh, yes, and we didn't die. Oh, we are so great at Yes, Pog, guys, Pog. Guess I should say something else, too. So, it has been a while. The queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She has instated a new policy. All the humans of fall here will be treated not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best anyways. The human souls the king gathered seem to have disappeared. So, uh, that plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we are not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, too, okay? Who knows how long it'll take, but we will get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second. I recognize this number. Hey, human. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. Well, besides our thing, one thing. The queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. Wow. I have no idea what to do with my life. But that's okay. Because I'm still working hard even if it's on nothing at all. So don't feel bad. Papyrus is fine. Undyne is the one that's got it bad. She's lost her job, then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. She lives on our couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. <laughs> a sleepover there's no escape from. Oh, we gave her a job too. Sans hired her at his illegal hot dog stand. <laughs> she hates working there. But she makes a mean hot dog. Oh yeah. She still blames you. For the disappearance of Asgore. She talks to me a lot. About getting revenge on you. She has a ludicrous plan. To cross the barrier and beat you up. To be honest. I think it's impossible. But I'd like to believe it's not. Because I want to go with her. Then I get to see you again. Even if I'd have to fight you. Well, keep your fingers crossed, and keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye! Goodbye, Papyrus. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hurt? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends. But now, you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hurts, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you? I need some way to get you a better ending. You have to load your save file and... Well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Undyne? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness. See you soon! Uh... Goodbye, Flowey! Uh... Well, well, it's not the end, actually, because we should go see Undyne, right? Okay. All right, let's go see Undyne, my friends. But let's save first. Okay, let's save again, then. It's a throne.
Oh, it's going to take a while to get all the way back there. I just noticed. Well, I'm going to get some items on the way because we don't have any healing items left. And, you know, I'll see you guys in like a moment. Okay, guys, we are back and we are going to go into Papyrus's house. Wait. Are we supposed to be here? Or are we supposed to go to Undyne's house? I thought she slept on the couch. Okay, guys. I think... This is the right place. It's Papyrus. Hello, Papyrus. How are you doing today? Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? I have a plan to make you two great friends. Oh, let's hang out together, guys. Okay, stand behind me. Psst. And I'm sure to give her this. She loves these. <laughs> a bone? It sounds like she was playing piano. Hmm. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training. You bet I am. And I brought a friend. Hi. I don't think we've... Yeah. Why don't you two come in? Uh-oh. It seems we have some beef between Undyne, guys. Let's try and resolve that today. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. <laughs> so, are you ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie. I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. You two have fun. <laughs> oh, he jumped out of the window. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Of course not. Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm going to be friends with you, huh? Right? Yes. Really? How delightful. I accept. Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship. Not. Why would I ever be friends with you? Because I am a Minecraft YouTuber, and everybody wants to be friends with Minecraft YouTubers, right guys? If you were my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Now get out of my house. <laughs> Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess I overestimated her. <laughs> She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second. Darn it. He thinks I can't be friends with you? What a joke. I can make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day. I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. <laughs> I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. <laughs> it's the perfect revenge. Why don't you have a seed? Oh wait, the dating music's playing. Sit down and progress. Yes, let's progress. Oh, my hair. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. What do monsters drink? All set. What would you like? Ah. Uh, hey. Don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? 
You can use the spear. Hot chocolate green cylinder. <laughs> soda, sickly yellow liquid. Goes in tea. Well, I don't drink soda. So, tea. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Do humans ice cream woman terrorize humanity with e energy spheres? <laughs> Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Is that, um... No? <laughs> That's what I thought. Okay, I want, okay fine, hot chocolate. Oh, you want some hot chocolate. Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard. Oh god. Well. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. <laughs> True. Hey, that's fine. I think soda's gross too. Oh yes, that's right! You're not an American. Although I am an American, but I don't like soda, guys. Wow, fun fact. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. True. It rots your fighting spirit. Huh? Why do I have it? <laughs> Wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> Are you hitting on me? <laughs> Believe me, I would glad you give your <laughs> swords if you weren't my beloved house guest. Fridge. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No. Tea, huh? Coming right up. Okay, that took a while. <laughs> It'll take a moment for the water to boil. <laughs> okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. I'm still holding the sphere. It's not that hot, just drink it already. You take a sip of the tea, it's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. Golden flower tea. That's Asgore's favorite kind. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies. Sort of. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes. And from then on, he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt bad. But he was beaming. I'd never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyways, long story short, he kept training me. And now, I'm the head of the Royal Guard. So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight. Like, uh, Papyrus. Aww. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Aww, why? Don't tell him I said that. 
he's just, well, I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. I know. It's just that he's, he's too innocent and nice. Aw, that's such a nice thing to say about Papyrus. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. <laughs> That's part of why. I started teaching him how to cook, you know? So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're f out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. Uh, uh. That's right. Nothing has brought Papyrus an eye closer than cooking. Okay, we're gonna cook. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine. Afraid, we're gonna be best friends. Yeah, I'm. Yeah, uh, uh, I, <laughs> <laughs> let's start with the sauce. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. How will you pound? Strong. You punch the vegetables at full force. You knock over a tomato. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. Now it's my turn. I, I can't do the onomatopoeia. <laughs> uh, we'll just grab this into a bowl later. But for now, we add the noodles. Homemade noodles are the best, but I just buy store brand. They're the cheapest. <laughs> um, just put them in the pot. How you put them in? We're gonna put them in fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottom. Yeah, I'm on into it. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready, let's do it. Ah! I'm using the Nintendo Switch trick. Oh my god, what is she doing? <laughs> That's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the soap top symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready, don't hold anything back. Hold right to turn up the heat. Oh. Am I doing it correctly? Because I use a controller instead of a thing. Am I doing it? Well, am I am I doing it slowly? Uh 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 Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. Oh my god. So what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? Oh. Who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. Ah. Uh I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. No, come on, hit me with all you've got. Uh. Okay. Oh, they can fake attack. Let's go. Ah! What?
That's the best you can manage? Even attacking me at full force. You just can't muster any intent to hurt me, huh? Eh, you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. Oh my god, my cat just started howling. <laughs> at first, I hated your stupid Shacharain stick. Okay, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. No, you know, you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart, just like him. Aw. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here, and I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you. That's what friends are for, right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. All right. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang out with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you... Hey, wait. Your inventory's full. Uh, well, I'll be at Papyrus's. Come see me when you have less... Oh. Ah! Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Um, I have a full inventory. It looks like we're gonna have to go to Papyrus's now. Um, I'm just going to put some stuff in the box. The box is full. The box has a full inventory, too. Uh, oh, oh, I don't really care about this, so. Aw, goodbye. All right, I'm gonna go to Snowden, and we're going to see what Undying needs us to do. Okay, so we have arrived back. So, what are you guys doing? Um, so, I have to ask a, a favor of you. Uh, I... I need you to deliver this lover letter to Dr. Alphys. Huh? Why don't I do it myself? Um, well, it's kind of personal, but we're friends, so I'll tell you. Hotland sucks. I don't want to have to go over there. So here you go. Oh, and if you read it, I'll kill you. Thanks so much. You're the best. Oh, yeah. Undyne writes a lot of letters but she can never seem to find the right words. So when she goes to deliver them herself, she always quits so she can go back and rewrite. That's why she asked you, because you have no standards. Anyways, so let's go back to Hotland. Oh my God, there's a lot of traveling in this video. We're in Hotland now, guys. The door has no mail. Oh, great. Let's slide the letter. Oh. Oh. No, is that another letter? I don't want to open it. Can I just slide it back out? N no. I can't keep doing this. I'll read this one. Um. It's sh kind of strongly, isn't it? Wait a second. Uh, hey, if this is a joke, it's, oh my god, did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have, oh my god, oh no, that's adorable, and I had no idea you, um, wrote that way. It's surprising, too, after all that gross stuff I did, I don't really deserve to be forgiven. Uh, you think I gave you the letter, Alphys? 
Like, that's not my letter. <laughs> um, much less, um, this is so passionately, too. You know what? Okay, I'll do it. It's the least I can do to make it up to you. Yeah, let's go on a date. Uh, okay, um... Dating start. Well, it looks like we're going on a date with Alphys that was supposed to be had with Undyne. Uh, sorry. I'm still getting dressed. <laughs> How do I look? My friend helped me pick out this dress. She's got a great sense of... Um, anyway. Let's do this thing. Hey, wait. Actually, we still can't start the date yet. Dating stop. Um, I've got to give you items to raise your affection statistic first. That'll increase the chance of a successful outcome to the date. <laughs> right? Anyway, don't worry. I'm prepared. I even stockpiling gifts in anticipation for a date like this. First, I've got... Some metal armor polish. Um... Maybe you can't use that. <laughs> but... I also brought you some waterproof cream for your scales. Your, uh, scales. Uh, well, how about this magical spear repair kit that I, um, hey, let's forget about the items. Let's just start the date. Yeah, let's, uh, date. Um, I don't think we're supposed to. <laughs> Uh, do you like anime? <laughs> hmm, let me think about that question. Sure. Hey, me too. <laughs> hey, let's go somewhere. But where's a good place to go on a date? I've got it. Let's go to the garbage dump. Oh, let's go to the garbage dump! Here we are. This is where Undyne and I come all the time. We find all sorts of great stuff here. Hey, she's really, uh... Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Why? Because, uh, well... Oh no, here she comes. Hey. There you are. I, uh, realized if you delivered that thing, it might be a bad idea. So I'm gonna do it. Give it to me. Huh? You don't have it? Have you at least seen her? Um. Uh, okay, uh, should I tell the truth or not? I actually don't know. Uh, nope. No? But she wasn't at home. Where the heck could she be? Okay. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. I mean, more than I like other people. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just figured, you know, it'd be fun to go on, like, a cute kind of pretend date with you to make you feel better. Well, it sounds even worse when I put it like that. I'm sorry, I messed up again. And Dine's the person I, um, really want to go on a date with. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. Not that you aren't, um, cool. But, Undyne, she's so confident and strong and funny. Mm-hmm. And I'm just a nobody. Oh, that's not true. A fraud? I'm the royal scientist, but... All I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies she thinks I'm... She thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll... She'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Uh... Okay, so I'm just gonna be completely honest. You should never lie in a relationship. <laughs> the truth? But if I tell her that, she'll hate me. Isn't it better this way? 
to live a lie where both people are happy? Oh, you're not happy. You know inside you're not happy. <laughs> or a truth where neither of us are. They say be yourself. But I don't really like who myself is. I'd rather just be whatever makes people like me. <laughs> no, you're right. Every day I'm scared. Scared what will happen if people learn the truth on their own. They'll all get hurt because of me. But how can I tell on dying the truth? Ah. Uh, I don't have the confidence. I'm going to mess it up. How can I practice? Let's let uh, let's RP. <laughs> <laughs> Role play. That actually kind of sounds fun. Okay, which one of us will be undying? Oh, right, obviously. <laughs> Ahem. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Ha ha. Glad to hear it. Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. Well, she... <laughs> <laughs> what is it, Alvis? <laughs> <laughs> um, you see, I, 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 I haven't been exactly truthful with you. You, you see, I, I... Oh, forget it. I'm dying. I, I want to tell you how I feel. You're so brave and strong and nice. You always listen to me when I talk about nerdy stuff. You always do your best to make me feel special. Like telling me that you'll beat up anyone that gets in my way. Undyne, I can't take this any longer. I'm madly in love with you. Hold me, Undyne. <laughs> what did you just say? Uh, Undyne, I was just... Hey, whoa, wait a second. Your outfit's really cute. What's the occasion? <laughs> <coughs> Wait a second. Are you two on a date? Ah, uh, yes. I mean, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we were, but I mean, actually, we were only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> what? <laughs> I mean, I mean, Undyne, I... I've been lying to you. What? About what? About, well, everything. I told you that seaweed was like scientifically- Oh, no, no. Oh, no, no. I can... I'm not reading all that. I am not reading all that. <laughs> Elphys. I, I just wanted to impress you. I just wanted you to think I was smart and cool. That I wasn't some nerdy loser. Elphys. I die and I, I really think you're neat, okay? Elphys. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> Elphys. I think you're neat too, I guess. But you've got to realize, most of what you said really doesn't matter to me. I don't care if you're watching kid cartoons or reading history books. To me, all of that stuff is just nerdy crap. What I like about you isn't that you're passionate, you're analytical. It doesn't matter what it is, you care about it. 100% at maximum power. So, you don't have to lie to me. I don't want you to have to lie to me anymore. Alphys. I want to help you become happy with who you are. And I know just the training you need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying, you. You're gonna train me? <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just gonna let Papyrus do it. Get those bones shaken. It's time to jog 100 laps, hooting about how great we are. Ready? I'm about to start the timer. I'm dying. I'll do my best. <laughs> <laughs> this game is just... Oh, I hit my microphone. This game is great. Oh my god. She was kidding, right? 
Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Uh, the music's going crazy. Uh, anime is real. Ah ha ha! I knew it. Gigantic swords, magical princesses, here I come. Uh, things are taking care of Alphys. I didn't get to say what I wanted to, but things seem like they're going to get better for her. Well, I gotta go catch up with them. Later. <laughs> that, was, that was fun. <laughs> okay, let's go. <clears throat> oh, look at all the garbage, guys. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back to Alphys' lab. Oh my god, another cut, let's go. Oh, it looks like I got called. Howdy. If it isn't my good friend who trusts me, this is Papyrus, your also mutual friend. Alphys and I finished our training early. Very early. So I sent her home. Very home. Uh, now. I feel strongly and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only feelings about- good feelings about this. Goodbye. Okay, it looks like we are back at the lab and now it's time to go. Oh, wait, I should save. I should probably save. Actually, we're gonna go back and save. Come on, go. Alright, go, go, go. Oh my god, there- Alphys is just a Gav Star fan, isn't isn't she? She's just too afraid to admit it to Undyne. Come on, come on. G Gav Star is an awesome YouTuber. See, there's there's me right there. This is what I look like in real life, guys. Um, okay. Look. The space behind the wall is only a few feet. W okay. Um. Uh, should I? What? Uh. Oh. I probably. Yeah. Uh... Oh, crap. I'm getting vibes from another game from this area. Entry number one. This is it. Time to do what the king has asked me to do. I will create the power to free us all. I will unleash the power of the soul. Entry number two. The barrier is locked by soul power. Unfortunately, this power cannot be recreated artificially. Soul power can only be derived from what was once living. So to create more, we will have to use what we have now. The souls of monsters. Entry number three. But extracting a soul from a living monster would require incredible power. Besides being impractical, doing so would instantly destroy the soul's host. And unlike the persistent souls of humans, the souls of most monsters disappear immediately upon death. If only I could make a monster's soul last. Entry number five. I've done it. Using the blueprints, I've extracted it from the human souls. I believe this is what gives her souls the strength to persist after death. The will to keep living. The resolve to change fate. Let's call this power Determination. Oh, power room. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Elevator, lost power, enter the center door. That's all you could read. Entry number six. Asgore asked everyone outside the city for monsters that had fallen down. Their bodies came in today. 
they're still comtuse, and soon they'll all turn into dust. But what happens if I inject a determination into them? If their souls persist after they perish, then freedom might be closer than we all thought. Entry number nine. Things aren't going well. None of the bodies have turned into dust, so I can't get the souls. I told the families that I would give them the dust back for the funerals. Every people are starting to ask me what's happening. What do I do? Drain dropped it. You turned on the sink. You turned on the sink. Oh. God. Oh my god. Uh. Um. Okie dokie. Okay, what do we do? What do we do? Sell item stat. Item. I don't know what to do. Sell. Let's try calling. Take out your cell phone. You can hear voices through the receiver. Come join the fun. But nobody came. Memory head. Join! It's a real get together. Okay. Oh god. No. What do I do? Do I... Do I refuse? Uh... Okie dokie. Um, let's go. Let's keep going. Goodbye, memory head. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. That is disgusting. It's some kind of operating table. It's sticky. Okay. Oh, this game just took on a whole nother vibe. Oh, new area. Entry number 12. Nothing is happening. I don't know what to do. I'll just keep injecting everything with determination. I want this to work. Entry number 13. One of the bodies opened its eyes. Wait, wait a minute. What if I just stay? Uh... uh. Um. Okie dokie. Huh. That's normal. Entry number 14. Everyone that had fallen down has woken up. They're all walking around and talking like nothing is wrong. I thought they were goners. Entry number 15. Seems like this research was a dead end, but at least we got a happy ending out of it. I sent the souls back to Asgore, returned the vessel to his garden, and I called all of the families and told them everyone was alive. 
I'll send everyone back tomorrow. Entry number 16. No, 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 no. Uh. Okie dokie. Uh -huh. Awesome. We got the key. Oh. That looks familiar. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Under sheets. That's all you could read. Which sheet? There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out beside it. They seem to be labeled in a specific order. Will you watch one? Psst. Gory, wake up. Hmm? What is it, dear? Er, uh, and why do you have that video camera? Shush, I want to get your reaction. Gory, dearest, what is my favorite vegetable? Hmm, carrots, right? No, 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 my favorite vegetable is edamame. Get it? Go back to bed, dear. No, no, not yet. <laughs> now, if I were a dog... What breed of dog would I be? Hmm, I don't know, honey. What kind of dog would you be? I would be a momerarian. Ho ho ho. You sure are excited to have this child. You know, if you keep making jokes like this, one day you could be a famous momedian. Well, I'm going to bed. Hey, come on, Tori. That one was funny. Haha, <laughs> I know. I was, am just teasing you. Good night, dear. Good night, honey. Oh dear, perhaps it is too dark in here for the video to come out. Interesting. I don't know. Do we, do we really want to sit and watch all those tapes? I mean, if you're more into the lore of Undertale, you know. You can just find it on the internet but i think we want to just get going i've been researching humans to see if i can find any info about their souls i ended up snooping around the castle and found these weird tapes i don't feel like asgore's watched them i don't think he should oh yeah okay uh Smells like sweet lemons. Um, hum, flex, cry. I think I should I hum or scream. You hum a familiar tune. Lemon bread's body shakes. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Uh, am I supposed to continue humming? Scream. Unhug. You let lemon bread be. Lemon bread's teeth shake. Stay here with me. Okay. 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 Uh... What happens if I flex? You flexed your arm. Lemon bread seems to remember something. I felt this before. Oh my god. Okay. DT extractionation machine status inactive. Oh. Uh oh. Whoa. What? It's some sort of cold rectangular... Whoa! There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Curtain. Wait, I have this key. Is there anything in here? 
Ooh. Oh, we got the yellow key. Nice. All right. Let's put this back and use this. Oh, wait. We haven't gone the other way. All right. Let's go the other way. Oh, wrong place. The creepy shower. Okay, I think there's just one more key. Ah. Uh, entry number 11. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. But I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Then we'll never be friends ever again. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Um. There's a switch on the wall. Press it. Uh. Oh. Ah. Uh. This is literally going to be in my nightmares. Hi. Hi. Oh, wait. No, I've seen a way scarier guy than you in another game. Just like Undertale. I. I can. I. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Uh, I. Is that a dog? Beckon. You called the amalgamate. It bounds towards you, flecking a strange liquid from an orifice. Oh. Is that barking? Uh. Pet. You pet the amalgamate. It convulses rapidly, then calms down. It rests quite okay. Uh, okie dokie. Uh, oh, I'm stupid. Oh, oh, uh, let's play. You throw your weapon into the corner of the room. The amalgamate brings it back to you proudly. You repeat this process a few times. Now amalgamate is very tired. It leans its dripping amorphous body on you. Okie dokie. Oh. Pet. Uh. It's, it's going a little crazy. Uh. Oh, it's going crazy. Uh. Yes, we did it. And Dogeny is contented. I am glad I could pet the amalgamate. Goodbye, friends. There's no key, is it? Oh, well, we got the extra fight, I guess. Oh, God. All right, let's go this way. I think the last key's over here. Entry number seven. We'll need a vessel to wield the monster's souls when the time comes. After all, a monster cannot absorb the souls of other monsters, just as a human cannot absorb a human soul. So then, what about something that's neither human nor monster? Golden flowers. Entry number 10. Experiments on the vessel were a failure. It doesn't seem to be any different from the control cases. Whatever, they're a hassle to work with anyways. The seats just stick to you and won't let go. Is it me? Oh. Oh. Hi. Uh. Hello. Mystify. I. You did something mysterious. Recognize it has more to learn from this world. Oh. Oh. Uh. 
Uh, okay. Um. Pick on. Clean? You wash your hands. Nothing happened. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, okie dokie, okie dokie, okie dokie. Okay. Clean pick on. Pray. You kneel and pray for safety. Remembers it's conscience. Oh, that that is totally normal. I see this in my life every day. I, I'm I'm great. I am great at this game. See you guys, um It is not okay, what 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 do we what have we not tried yet? Humming? You hum a familiar tune. No one heard you. Oh no, not this one, not this one. Oh, this one's hard. Okay. Okay, pick on. You pick on Reaper Bird. Reaper Bird seems to remember something. Someone finally gets it. Oh, it's a reaper bird. Oh, g g goodbye, buddy. Oh, that's normal. There's a note on the ground. You can't make it all out. Cold. Oh, wait. Oh, okay. Let me go back there. Okay. Oh, we're back in the... We're back in this room. And it's... Oh, the... F okay. The families keep calling me to ask when everyone is coming home. What am I supposed to say? I don't even answer the phone anymore. Oh. It's a refrigerator. It's empty. It's a refrigerator. It seems to contain samples of some- Oh. 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 That just moved. Entry number 20. Asgore left me five messages today. What about everyone being angry? What about this cute teacup you found that looks like me? Thanks, Asgore. Okay, entry number 21. <laughs> I spent all my time at the garbage dump now. It's my element. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh, this isn't a good idea. What? You're telling me that there's something... Okay. There's no way there's something in here. Oh! That actually scared me. <laughs> it's so cold. Amalgamate. Uh... Echo. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow. Er, it's a she? Uh. That's not normal. Joke. Okay. Joke. You told a bad pun about snow again. Oh, this is strange. What is Alphys been doing down here? Okay, it's time to insert the blue key in the blue key slot. And it's time to go all the way back. Here we go. It's time to go in here. Seems to be turned off. It seems like this controls the elevator's power. Turn it on. Uh, hi. Uh, hey guys. Hey. Hey, stop. I got you guys some food, okay? 
Oh. Sorry about that. They get kind of sassy when they don't get fed on time. Um, anyway, the power went out, and I've been trying to turn it back on. But it seems like you were one step ahead of me. This was probably just a big inconvenience for you. But I appreciate that you came here to back me up. As I said, I was afraid I might not come back. But that is not because of these guys or anything. I was just worried I would be too afraid to tell the truth. Then I might run away or do something cowardly. Uh, I, I suppose I owe you an explanation. As you probably know, Asgore asked me to study the nature of souls. During my research, I isolated a power I called Determination. I injected it into dying monsters so that their souls would last after death. But the experiment failed. You see, unlike humans, monsters' bodies don't have enough physical matter to take those concentrations of determination. Their bodies started to melt and lost what physically physicality they had. Pretty soon, all of the test subjects had melted together into those. Seeing them like this, I knew. I couldn't tell their families about it. I couldn't tell anyone about it no matter how much everyone was asking me. And I was too afraid to do any more work knowing everything I'd done so far had been such a horrific failure. But now, now I've changed my mind about all this. I'm going to tell everyone what I've done. It's going to be hard, being honest, believing in myself. I'm sure there'll be times where I'll struggle. I'm sure there'll be times when I'll screw up again. But knowing deep down that I have friends to fall back on, I know it'll be a lot easier to stand on my own. Thank you. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. What a great play. This game is so good. Well, let's see what happens next. Entry number eight. I've chosen a candidate. I haven't told Asgore yet. Because I want to surprise him with it. In the center of his garden, there's something special. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appeared just before the queen left. I wonder, what happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? Entry number 18. The flower's gone. Ha! <laughs> Ring? It's a voice you have never heard before. Gavster, are you there? It's been a long time, hasn't it? But you've done well. Thanks to you, everything has fallen into place. Gavster, see you soon. Uh, oh god, why did the game have a character limit? <laughs> what the? Uh, guys, um, hello? Uh, uh, um, Okay, let's let's just let's just get um, let's go. Let's go. Are we supposed to go? Oh, it's been a while since I played this game. Oh. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. If, if by chance you have any unfinished business, please do what you must. Um, are we fighting Asgore again? I see. This is it then. Ready? 
Um, a strange light fills the room. Was I supposed to do this? Twilight is shining through the barrier. It seems your journey is finally over. You're filled with determined. Yeah, yet yeah, we did this already. Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ah, ah. Oh, <laughs> Toriel. What a miserable creature, torturing such a poor innocent youth. Do not be afraid, my child. It is I, Toriel, your friend and guardian. At first, I thought it would let you make your journey alone, but I could not stop worrying about you. Your adventure must have been so treacherous, and ultimately, it would have burdened you with a horrible choice. To leave this place, you would have to take the life of another person. You would have had to defeat Asgore. However, I realize I cannot allow that. It is not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? So, for now, let us suspend this battle. As terrible as Asgore is, <laughs> he deserves mercy, too. Tori, you came back. Do not Tori me, Tremor, you pathetic whelp. If you really wanted to free our kind, you could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul, taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead, you made everyone live in despair, because you would rather wait here, meekly hoping another human never comes. Tori, you're right. I am a miserable creature. But, do you think we can at least be friends again? <laughs> no, Asgore. Asgore, human, nobody fight each other. Everyone's gonna make friends or else ow, ow. Hello, I am Toriel. Are you the human's friend? It is nice to meet you. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you. Hey, Asgore, is that your ex? Jeez, that's rough, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Nobody hurt each other. Oh, are you another friend? I am Toriel. Hello. Ah, uh, hi. There's two of them. <laughs> hey! Nobody fight anyone. If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undying for help. Hello. Oh, hello, your majesty. Psst. Hey, human. Did Asgore shave? And clone himself? <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? That voice. Hello, I think we may know each other. Oh hey, I recognize your voice too. I am Toriel, so nice to meet you. The name's Sans, and uh, same. Oh, wait then. This must be your brother, Papyrus. Greetings, Papyrus. It is so nice to finally meet you. Your brother has told me so much about you. Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Hey, Papyrus. What is the skeleton towel is Ruth with? Hmm, snowproof roof tiles. No, silly. A skeleton towels is Ruth with shingles. <laughs> I changed my mind. This is the worst day of my life. Come on, Asgore. It's gonna be okay. There are plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> yeah, Asgore. Undyne's totally right about that fish thing. <laughs> Sometimes you've just got to, uh, stop going after furry boss monsters and, uh, just get to know a really cute fish. Aw. It's a metaphor. Well, I think it's a good analogy. Oh my god. Will you two just smooch already? The audience is dying for some romantic action. Hey, shut up. Man, the nerve of that guy. Right, Alphys? Uh, Alphys. Now, he's right. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I guess if you want to, then don't hold anything back. Wait. 
not in front of the human. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> ah, right. Sorry, I got a little carried away there. Hee hee hee. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think, I think you'll be happy here. Aw, oh, this is such a great ending. <laughs> hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you called everyone here, right? Well, besides, uh, her. Uh, anyway, if I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say, a tiny flower helped me. A tiny flower? Uh... You idiots. While you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends' souls are gonna be mine too. Hee hee hee. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have come here and now with their souls and the humans together. I will achieve my real form. Hee <laughs> hee. Huh? Why am I still doing this? Don't you get it? This is all just a game. Oh. If you leave the underground that's satisfied, you'll win the game. If you win, you won't want to play with me anymore. And what would I do then? But this game between us will never end. I'll hold victory in front of you, just within your reach. And then tear it away just before you grasp it. Over, and over, and over. Hee hee hee. Listen. If you do defeat me, I'll give you your happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Uh, 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 Even if it means killing you one million times. <gasps> no, no, my perfect record's gonna be destroyed! I haven't died a single time! <sighs> what? Huh? What? That's right. Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. Oh. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Believe in you. Hey, human. If you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't been this guy yet? Come on. This weirdo's got nothing on you. Technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But... Somehow, I know you can do it. Human, for the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Oh, yeah, that's right. They're, guys, it's Monster Kid. It's everyone. Oh, that's right. Determination. <laughs> Flowey, I think your biggest problem is that you just don't have any friends, Flowey. <laughs> Unbelievable. This can't be happening. You... You... I can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Oh. Oh. My sound. Finally, I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy, Gavster. Are you there? It's me, 
your best friend. Asriel Dremor. Hi. It's the end. Oh yes, this is a song that every Minecraft YouTuber uses. Oh god, so hope or dream? What do I do more? I, I, I have the weirdest dreams now. I'm going to dream. You think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Ah, oh, the true final battle was finally beginning. Okay, I'm going to hope. You held on to your hopes. You reduce how much damage you'll take this turn. Oh. Oh. Oh, look. Stars. It's my entire brand. I just got hit by my brand. I got hit by my brand. As your changes, shocker breaker. Okay, okay, okay. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. You know, I don't care about destroying this world anymore. Oh. 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 Okie dokie! Ah. Uh, you eat the cinnamon, buddy. Your HP was maxed out. After defeat, I defeat you and gain total control over the timeline. I just want to reset everything. Why? 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 Ah. Uh, okay, this is actually kind of... Kind of difficult. Kind of difficult. Okay. Cinnamon bunny, crab apple. What is what is like the worst food I have here? The crab apple. All your progress, everyone's memories. I'll bring them all back to zero. Why? Why? This is that that one's impossible. I can't do it. I can't. I I I'm gonna eat Sans's hot dog. Then we can do everything all over again. Why, man? Why? This is my brand. Oh. Okay. 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 And you know what the best part of all this is? You'll do it. And then you'll lose to me again. Oh my god, that one is just... I'm trying. I'm trying, guys. And then again. I died. Are you kidding me? My perfect record! <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I always die during this fight. I couldn't do it. I actually died a single time. Although I don't count that because... I, I'm trying to think of an excuse right now. Um, Because it refused. It refused, so I didn't die. I didn't die. Ha <laughs> ha! That's right! You can never break my perfect record. You can never break my perfect record. Because I refused. Okay. Okay. You kept holding on. Damage reduced. Oh my god, oh my god. How can I keep holding on? Oh. Oh, we're still in the fight. 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And again. Yeah, 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 I get it, I get it. Dream, you think about why you're here now. You can feel the empty space in your inventory getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, whatever. Because, uh, yeah, I want a happy ending. Oh, no, my brand. No. No, 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 no. Ah! Okay, look, this fight is hard. It's the end. Again, yeah, yeah, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand. It's the end. This is just freaking hard as heck. Okay, how is anyone able to do this? I'm just... Oh. Uh, dream. Okay, I think about why I'm here now. I'm gonna die. You, through determination, the dream became true. Oh, that's right. My brand is too strong. <laughs> uh, hope you kept holding on. Damage reduced. Because you love your friends. I know I love my friends. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, because you never give up. Oh, yep. <laughs> I actually mentioned that in a video. I'm like, I have this problem where I just don't give up. I, this is confusing. I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> no, 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 no. I feel like a certain YouTuber right now. I can't wait to bang the table. Anyways. I think the strat is to stay on the bottom. Okay. That is a little crazy. That, that, yeah. Okay, kept like yep, mm, mm. I survived. I survived. See, I'm improving. I'm improving. It's just I run out of space. Which is I survived! Not even close! Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that lets you get this far, it's gonna be your downfall. Oh, yes it is. There goes my brain cells. The dream came true. Now, enough messing around. It's time to purge this timeline once and for all. Uh, hi. <laughs> oh my god, guys. It is so funny because every single episode of the Undertale series, someone has always came in my room and interrupted me. And guess what just happened? Oh, someone came in my room! Awesome! Awesome. So anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. Wow, you really are something special. But don't get cocky. Up until now, I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good your determination is against this. Uh... <laughs> uh... As your old. Uh. Uh. I. I can't move. You can't. Ah, uh, be behold my true power. Oh. 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 Uh. Okay. Alright. Alright. Okay. Um. Anyways. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. 
Your life will end here, in a world where no one remembers you. Oh. The whole world is ending. Oh. Oh, thanks. Thanks, text box. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything, too. That attitude will serve you well in your next life. Uh. Oh. Oh, why is the whole world ending right now? Still. Come on. Show me what good your determination is now. I'm gonna die. Oh, see guys, I died. This is so hard. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. You tried again to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. <laughs> but maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. What? No, no. Music up. All right, who are we gonna save? Let's let's save Sans. You reached out to Ezreal's soul and called out to your friends. They're in there somewhere, aren't they? Within the depths of Ezreal's soul, something's resonating. The lost souls appeared. Okay, puzzle. What what should I do? Take break. We gotta remind them of who they are. What is Papyrus like? He likes puzzles. You ask the lost soul for help with a puzzle. He doesn't know why, but he really wants to help you. I must capture a human. I know. Oh. No, no, no. Okay, judgment, take break, joke. You told the lost soul a bad pun about skeletons. He seems to love it, but the other lost soul seems to hate it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Let's, let's, let's recipe. You ask the lost soul to cook something for you. The lost soul is trying to hide its joy. Let's talk about taking a... Should we talk about crosswords or taking a break? We're taking a break. <laughs> no, wait. You're my friend. I could never capture you. No, I'm rooting for you, kid. I know. I know. You feel something faintly resonating within... Okay, okay. Who should we save? Let's save Undyne and Alphys. Within the depths of Azure's soul, something's resonating. Oh, no. It's just... Yeah, whatever. The last soul appeared. All right. Let's... Let's fake hit. You tap the lost soul lightly. Something about the way you fight is familiar to her. All humans will die. Uh, uh. What should we do? Should we talk about recipes or clashing? Clash. You clashed against the lost soul with all your might. She feels your fighting spirit. It's familiar somehow. You're our real enemy. Nope. You ask the lost soul to teach you how to cook. Suddenly, the memories are flooding back. Well, some humans are okay, I guess. <laughs> okay. Let's save Alphys. Within the depths of Azure's soul, something's resonating. Yep, 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 yep. The lost soul appeared. Why can't we talk about anime? Let's nerd out. You asked the lost soul what her favorite cartoon is. <laughs> she could barely hold back from giving you an enormous answer. Oh. Encourage. Call. Oh, let's give encouragement. You tell the lost soul that you'll continue to support her. Something about the way you said that is familiar to her. Alpha, so you don't have to keep lying. Call or quiz? Well, 
on our adventure. Um, <laughs> no, that's not true. My friends like me, and I like you too. I know you do, Alphys. Oh All right, let's save Toriel. Within the depths of Azure's soul, something's resonating again. The lost souls appear. Okay, let's. Preference! You tell the lost soul you prefer cinnamon instead of butterscotch. Somehow, she faintly recalls hearing this before. Oh no. Oh, this is intense. Okay. Mercy. You tell the lost soul that you won't hurt him, no matter what. Something about this is so familiar to him. Oh, no, 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 no. This attack. This attack. This attack. Okay. Should we hug? You hug the lost soul and tell her that you're going to see her again. Something about this is so familiar to her. Okay. Hug. You hug the lost soul. Suddenly, his memories are flooding back. Your fate is up to you, our... Yeah, yeah, it's up to me. Yeah, okay, that confused me. You are our future. <laughs> okay. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul. Stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. Is it Metaton? But who? <laughs> I know who it is. Suddenly, you realize. You reach out and call their name. Huh? What are you doing? I'm saving you! Feel your friend's souls resonating within Azure. What? What did you do? What is this feeling? What is happening to me? No, no. I don't need anyone. Oh, 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 oh. Ah. Nope. Stop it. Get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Oh, 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 oh. Not even close. Gavster, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? Oh, this is a reference to Toriel's fight. That part there. I'm doing this because you're special, Gavster. You're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. No, that's not just it. I, I, I'm doing this because I care about you, Gavster. I care about you more than anybody else. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. So please stop doing this and just let me win. Oh god. No 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 uh, 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 stop it. Um stop it now Um I'm okay, this is not normal. Gavster. I'm so alone, Gavster. I'm so afraid, Gavster. Gavster, I... No, your name is spelled wrong. <laughs> I... <laughs> uh, the character limit.
I'm so sorry. I always was a crybaby, wasn't I, Gavster? I know. You're not actually Gavster, are you? Gavster's been gone for a long time. Um, what? What is your name? Frisk? That's a nice name. Frisk. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I lacked the power to love other people. However, with everyone's souls inside me, I not only have my own compassion back, but I can feel every other monster's as well. They all care so much about each other so much. And they care about you too, Frisk. I wish I could tell you how everyone feels about you. Papyrus, Sans, Undyne, Alphys, Toriel. Monsters are weird. <laughs> Even though they barely know you, it feels like they all really love you. Haha. <laughs> Frisk, I, I don't understand if you can't forgive me. I understand if you hate me. I acted so strange and horrible. I hurt you. I hurt so many people. Friends, family, bystanders. There's no excuse for what I've done. What? Frisk, come on. You're, you're gonna make me cry again. Besides, even if you do forgive me, I can't keep these souls inside of me. The least I can do is return them. But first, there's something I have to do. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire, with everyone's power, with everyone's determination. It's time for monsters to finally go free. It's happening, guys! Freedom! The barrier was destroyed! Frisk, I have to go now. Without the power of everyone's souls, I can't keep maintaining this form. In a little while, I'll turn back into a flower. I'll stop being myself. I'll stop being able to feel love again. So, Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you. I don't want to let you go. Frisk, you're, you're going to do a great job, okay? No matter what you do, everyone will be there for you, okay? Well, my time's running out. Goodbye. By the way, Frisk, take care of mom and dad for me, okay? Frisk, this is all just a bad dream. Wow, ho oh, ho, I see how it is, Toby Fox. Anyways. Please, wake up. <laughs> oh, you're awake, thank goodness. 
we were so worried. It felt like you were out forever. Yeah, any longer and I would have freaked out. Tell us next time when you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah, you made Papyrus cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What did you catch? Tears. <laughs> <laughs> no. Now, the important part is that Frisk is all right. Here, Frisk, why not drink some tea? It'll make you feel better. Uh, how about we give them space first? They must be very exhausted. Though, from what? I am not certain. Frisk, we do not remember exactly what happened. There was a flower and then everything went white. But now, the barrier is gone. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. But before then, perhaps you might want to take a walk. You can say goodbye to all of your wonderful friends. Do as you wish. We will all wait for you here. Wow, we, we have been at this for a long time. But there is one special secret that I want to get. Here we are. Don't worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I can't, okay? I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It is better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbett are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you, well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Gavster climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Gavster hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Gavster. In fact, though you have similar, uh, fashion choices, I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe the truth is, Gavster wasn't really the greatest person. Well, Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a l little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. There's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Gavster and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to, to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we, well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view on the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that, that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision, but you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left, but that's besides the point. Frisk. Thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please, in the future, if you uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Chris, be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flower <laughs> flowers out there. And not everything 
can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk. Don't kill and don't be killed, alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you! Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? No, 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 no. There's gonna be a secret line. I know there is. I know there is. Well. Well, there you go, guys. Not many people know about that. But I think it's time to go home. Well, guys. Here we go. Hello, Frisk. Alpha's upgraded my phone. I am having a lot of fun with the texting feature. Sans, check out this one. Oh man, Tori. That's brutal. I can't believe the queen has returned. And also that she's a huge dork. You two are two feet away from each other. Why are you texting? Worry not, Papyrus. We are texting for a good reason. Why is that? Well, because we're huge dorks. Sans, please do not say that. You are not a dork. You are more of a bonehead. Ha ha ha! Wow. Those puns are even less funny coming from her. Then why are you smiling? It's a pity smile. <laughs> well, guys, I think it's time. Oh! This is it! If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Let's go! Oh my god. <laughs> I, if somebody walks to my room right now, I'm going to be so <laughs> uh, The sun! Oh my. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I ever imagined. Frisk, you live with this. The sunlight is so nice and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey Sans, what's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. Mmm, we call that. <laughs> That's the sun, wowie. I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun. I could stand here and watch this for hours. Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right, everyone. This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yes! Yeah! Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the Great Papyrus, will be the best mascot. I'll go make a good first impression. Oh. Well... Someone's got to keep him from getting into trouble. See ya, guys. Uh. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait. Hey, Undyne, wait up. Whoops. Uh, should I do something? Well... Gotta go. It seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? Oh! <laughs> well... We're going to be the ambassador, guys. We have to stay. Frisk. What? Frisk, you really are a funny child. If you have had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hee hee hee. Well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other places to go, 
I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. Undertale. This game is so good. The cast. Rocket. Wimson. A little bit guilty pondering life. Huh. Moldsmo. Found a new cave. Luke's reformed bully. Vegetoid. Popular nutritionist. Miskos. Casually enjoys life. Uh huh. Ah, Nefsub Luke. Spooky DJ! Ah, oh, that's right, Papyrus! You go, Papyrus! Aw, oh, he said he wanted to ride a car down in, like, the sunlight, or whatever. Don't think I forgot. <laughs> Snowdrake. Still looking for laughs. Ice cap, thinking about its hat. That rhymes. Gift trot. Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. Doggammy and Doggeresco. Finally, number one nose nuzzle champions. <laughs> Lesser dog, searching for affection. Greater dog, excited by life's challenge changes. Onion sand. And. <laughs> oh, great, Aaron. By Tammy, reluctantly. Paranormal investigator. What? Boldabug. Life on the beach. Yep. Wash a legendary janitor, Temmy, Tem Yeah. Okay. The Mad Dummy. Change name to Angry Dummy. Shiren taking piano lessons again. <gasps> Metaton! Metaton, that's right, you go. Oh, I love how the ending theme goes to, like, all the major songs in the game. That's just perfect. Reminds me of another game. Vulcan, encouraging space heater. And then the plane finally confesses what I don't. Okay, pyro, candle, and the world's largest birthday cake. Muffet, spider success with a new bakery. Interesting. Royal guards, use your imagination. That's what the other game that I was referencing to told me to do. Final Froggit, giving life its own meaning. Whims a lot. The long battle finally ending. As Digimatizzi, yeah. Dem Demiring Glasses Seller. Okay, okay. Magic, Street Magician, uh huh. Night Night, taking a well deserved nap. And the Amalgamates. Living with their families. Oh, yeah, trimming the thing in the head of, like, Papyrus' face. I didn't forget that. Aw, Toriel always wanted to run a school. She said that. She always wanted to be a teacher. <laughs> this game is just has the perfect ending. But you gotta do it right. The end. I, I know, I know, I know. I know. Oh. Uh. Did you really think it was over? I mean, we haven't even done the special thanks yet. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. Oh. Uh. I am not going to not get hit a single time. 
Yeah, let's just touch all the credits. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to get the secret, guys. I'm not that talented. Yeah. Yay. Special thanks. Uh, oh, there are so many special thanks. Wow. Yay. <laughs> Toby Fox. Why was Toby Fox in the special thanks? He made the game. <laughs> Boop. 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 Oh my god. How? Like, I know, I know there's a secret you can get if you, like, don't touch any of them. I just don't know how, like, you even do it, though. Yeah. Boop. Why was... Ch was that chess? Touch credits. Good night. Well, that's it. Wonderful job. Just gotta say, Toby Fox. Oh, oh, there's a dog. This is a great game. I love it. Keep making more stuff. Well. I guess that's it. I mean, next we're probably gonna play Deltrune because it's the prequel. <laughs> Everybody plays Deltrune on YouTube nowadays. But, you know, guys. See ya!